Welcome back to the Sunday Sports Frenzy. You can't deny anyone's will to race, even if they aren't old enough to race certain tracks. We saw it last year with Oklahoma native Ryan Timms having his parents sign extra paperwork to race at Port Royal. A Dallas Town fifth grader and his family will be traveling the Mid-Atlantic to race 270s. It's kind of a funny story how Chase and Houck started racing 270s. Dad sadly just said, well, do you just want to race at 270? And I said, yeah. <laughs> yup, that simple. Racing is in his family. It stems down generations, but it stuck when Chasen watched his dad race 600s. But for a 270, it's his first time ever racing and the first time jumping in the seat last year, he'll always remember. It was just fun, bumpy ride. <laughs> oh my God. I remember I did. I don't know have a titanium brake rotor which turns red, but it was glowing at the end of the night. <laughs> Jason is a fifth grader at Dallas Town, and yes, there's a few tracks in Central PA that race to 70s, but in Jason's case, it's about finding a track he can race at. He's a spunky 11 year old and you have to be 12 to race that division at most tracks. So Chasen and his parents will be doing a lot of traveling around the mid Atlantic from New York to North Carolina to race and gain experience. It's fun. Um, it's very interesting. And when I go to school and say I'm racing a 270 at school and they know and believe me, and um, it's really just fun racing experience. I mean, not really going fast, just all the people you meet and all the cool things that you experience. And one other thing, he has a pretty cool nickname that all starts with a pineapple shirt. It's a very funny story. Um, Mom got me a tropical pineapple shirt and I just keep wearing my pineapple shirt. I got some pineapple socks and a pineapple hat. <laughs> so I always wear those to the races and, <laughs> Some people just call me the pineapple kid and it's stuck. Hey, every great driver has a nickname.